Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I'm going to be taking a look at this Thunderbolt 3 HDMI docking station from a company called Hirecool. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Hirecool, H I E A R C O O L. Now, they make all kinds of accessories. These docking stations are one type of accessory that they sell. <laughs> um, I do want to thank Hirecool for sending this over to the channel for an unboxing and initial first look. Again, honest review. I'll tell you what I think when I look at these things. I don't really just give good reviews because somebody sent something for free. So just disclaimer there. Um, and give this video an early thumbs up if you're if you're interested in things like this or other tech gadgets and things like that on YouTube. I uh, do lots of stuff, so thumbs up, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. So what this is, is a Thunderbolt 3, so that's basically USB-C uh, docking station and has pass-through power. So if you have something like a MacBook Pro and you plug the power into this and then you plug this into your MacBook, you can get a charge while you're, while you're connected to the docking station. And it has basically a bunch of ports that you can just connect to your laptop with a single cable. So single USB-C cable, Thunderbolt 3, um, works with Mac, it also works with Windows. So if you do have a Windows device, this will also work. I do think though, lots of people that are looking at this are probably, you know, probably have Macs and that sort of thing. So if we take a look at this really quick here, uh, it has a Kensington security lock slot. So if you're using this in an office environment, you wanna make sure that nobody walks away with it, you can lock it to your desk. Uh, it has a DC power supply, so you can plug this into the wall. Gig gigabit LAN connection, uh, so it's a HDMI connection, uh, 4K at 60 hertz. Uh, has a USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. Has three of those. There's a power LED. Uh, shows the front and the back. And then on the back side, you have uh, USB 3 ports there. Uh, and then the PC host uplink uh, power delivery charging, 100 watts of, of charging. So you can connect that to your, your computer. And then on the other side, there is a four, uh, 5 or 8K 60 hertz Thunderbolt 3 connection, a couple different uh, SD card slots, and then a combination port, uh, 3.5 millimeter input for microphone, output for headphones or speakers. So a lot of stuff here in, in this device. Now you can check this out, you can get it, I'll link it, to, I'll link it in the description to the Higher Cool website as well as Amazon. And you can uh, get this or take a look at the specs yourself. And we'll just open it up. So the one thing I will say is I've used a couple different types of these sorts of docking stations in the past. Uh, I think uh, the, one of the ones I was from a company called Pluggable. Um, there's, there's all kinds of these things. And especially if you search on Amazon, you'll get like hundreds of different types of docking stations. What I like about this one, aside from the fact that it has all these ports and it has all this stuff on it, is it like looks really nice. So it looks, um, you know, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty nice has that uh, kind of space gray look to it. Um, if you're you know, considering an Apple device, you know, this will kind of go and look pretty, uh, pretty nice alongside that on your desk. And I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like there's like a loose, <laughs> a loose screw inside of this. I don't know what that's about. I'll have to look at that later. Um, but yeah, it sounds like there's like a loose a loose screw inside the case um, so that's a I'll ding that as a point on the uh, quality control somebody left a screw in there um, but it, like I said uh, you have your DC power power in your LAN cable HDMI USB 3.1 Gen 2's you get three of those right there LED on the top on the flip side you get USB 3 ports 
You got your two Thunderbolt connections, and this one is the one you're going to use to connect to your PC, which also has power. And then you got a SD card slot and a micro SD card slot and the headphone jack. I mean, now overall, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, there's a couple imperfections on the milling of this. As you can see here, it's a little bit of a wavy line. So whatever CNC machining that they're doing on this, you know, on the on this radius around the edges, kind of looks a little bit inconsistent. And then somehow, somehow this got scratched. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, somehow the aluminum got scratched, and this is obviously brand new. I mean, it was shrink-wrapped and all of that, so I don't know if something was rubbing inside the box or this came from the factory that way. So that's one thing I actually would be, I would be bummed about if I paid for this and there's scratches on it. That would annoy me. So something to consider, and maybe it's just, this particular box got thrown around by Amazon or something and it kind of got a little bit goofed up. But I mean, I would say that's the only, the only issue I see is a little scratch. And then, like I said, the, the CNCing on this looks like it's a little inconsistent around the edges and it's got a screw inside. So I'll have to <laughs> take it apart and take the screw out. So this is what the docking station looks like. So also in here you do get a USB-C connector or Thunderbolt cable. You have a power cord and then a power adapter. And this looks to be like a pretty hefty, like it looks like almost like a, a, a laptop adapter, right? So a laptop charging brick. But that's what you use to plug the plug this in, and then you can use it, you know, obviously use this. So let's let's look here real quick. User manual. Um, Thunderbolt 3, HDMI docking station for Mac OS and Windows. Need any help? Email them. So then you can basically use a couple different displays here, right? So if you have a USB-C display, you can use that. You have an HDMI display, you can use that. So you can have multiple outputs um, from this. So if you had your laptop, you can plug it into like two additional monitors and get, you know, kind of like a multi-monitor setup. And they're saying Thunderbolt 3 port, 40 gigabytes a second. Uh, the three uh, the USB C 3.1 Gen 2s are 10 gigabytes a, gigabytes a second, and then the one um, oh the the, the USB 3 Gen 1s support power delivery as well from a uh, power output perspective. So that's so that's nice. Yeah. So basically, that's what you get. So you get the device. You get a Thunderbolt cable, power supply. It's a 20 volt 6 amp. And you get the user manual. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out a little bit, plug it into my MacBook Pro. I've got a MacBook Pro 16 inch 2020 version or 2019 model, but I just bought it in 2020. And I'll hook this up and just test it out a little bit. Uh, I mean, there's nothing really to say, I guess, about this other than does it work or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and I will let you know if it works. So I'll jump over to the computer and we'll talk about the results. So I've been using this for a few days with my MacBook Pro and it was connected to actually two monitors. I was using an HDMI cable to a 30 inch Dell monitor, uh, which is not, uh, it's like a 1440p resolution. And then also to a Lenovo monitor that's also that same resolution using the USB Thunderbolt cable. And it works really well. So from the dual screen perspective, seamless works good. Tested out a bunch of different uh, you know, USB connections using the SD card, some other things that are the other ports there. 
connected it to a Ethernet jack to my router. And all in all, I think it's a solid performer from just the connectivity standpoint, and I'm really happy with it. So from that aspect, I think everything works perfectly fine. So that's really good. Nothing to note. I didn't notice any slow transfers or anything like that. I plugged in an external SSD hard drive and transferred some files back and forth, and everything seemed to be really, really great. So, you know, all in all, I'm super happy with this. The only thing that I like mentioned when I was doing the unboxing part of this review or this uh, unboxing and first look is that uh, there was an extra screw on the inside, and I did take it apart, and it's just basically a, a little tiny screw that was loose. I couldn't even find out where it went, so somehow that got left in there when they were assembling it. And then, like I said, the few scratches on the actual aluminum, which I do not know how that happened at all, because um, it was in the securely packaged, but somehow it got scratched, so I don't know. I, again, I don't know if it got scratched at the factory, and then just made it through quality assurance and got shipped, when it maybe shouldn't have. But that was the only thing I ran into with this. Uh, so overall, uh, definitely, definitely two thumbs up from me. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. I'll link to this in the description as well as to the Higher Cool website. Take a look at this and their other products. Please consider subscribing to the channel. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>